Hey guys, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Got a new cast net in the mail. It's called a crabite. It actually came in this blue bag. It doesn't have one of those plastic cases. This is a six foot nylon cast net. It's got the real lead weights on it, not the plastic coated ones. It's got three eighths inch mesh and uh, it's really, really strong and durable. The monofilament braille lines are really heavy duty and it's got the separator here to keep the lines from being tangled. I got this to replace the monofilament net that I reviewed recently. Um, the mono net got hung on a rock and it just tore the net to pieces. This is a very well made net. I'm gonna give it a try here and see how well it does. Hey guys, you could see it was really windy out there. It's hard to cast a cast net in the wind. I ended up going to a different spot, caught a bunch of pinfish. I'm gonna show you those in a moment. I've kept them alive for 24 hours and there's a reason I'm gonna show you them. So hang on a second here. Um, I got this cast net from Amazon. I put a link in the description on this page. You can go check it out yourself. It's a six foot net and it says that it has three eighths inch mesh. Now, I got several fish hung up in that mesh, little little bait fish, and it concerns me. I don't think it's 3 8 inch. I think it's bigger. I think it's half inch to maybe even three quarter, but it'll work for the purposes that I'm gonna use it. I, I throw on grass flats, and you know, I like to get pinfish that are about three and a half, four inches long. That's gonna work for me. Every now and then, you know, I'll probably get some bait stuck in the net. It'll be frustrating, but I'm gonna keep the net. It's got nice heavy uh, lead lines on it and a nice nylon, very durable net. I'm gonna be throwing in like two feet to four feet. So this cast net is gonna work great for me on grass flats, so I'm gonna keep it. But let's take a look at these pinfish that I caught, and then you can decide whether or not, you know, you wanna get this net or not. The ones that I have in the bucket um, didn't get hung up in the net. The ones that were getting hung in the net were like uh, greenback shiners that were like maybe you know, three, three and a half inches long, and some of the smaller pinfish were getting lodged in there. Now the greenbacks, I was able to gently pull through the mesh. The uh, pinfish, I couldn't pull them through because they're a lot fatter. And uh, so anyway, let's take a look at these pinfish. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, make sure that you click that bell icon and put a check mark to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thumbs up are always appreciated too. Let's take a look at these pinfish. Thanks for watching, you guys. All right, well, caught a bunch of bait. Let me scoop in here and you can get an idea. There. So, um, these guys are nice and lively. I'd say those are about three inches, three inch pinfish right there. Three to, three to three and a half inches long. So uh, that size bait was not getting all hung up in the net. 